welcome to another exercise class brought to you by Mindy Entrup with Blessing Home Care Physical Therapy. Um, hope all is well and hopefully you're staying active and staying mobile um, the best you can in the midst of our uh, inability to get together and exercise. So hopefully this finds you well. Today what we're going to focus on is a general exercise class um, so it's not necessarily specific to LSBT big and not specific to just power. So this is, I wanted to do just a general strength and mobility class. We'll be doing some things in standing, doing some things in sitting that are just really going to focus on range of motion and flexibility, posture, um, in uh, just kind of a general format. So I um, hope you enjoy it. We're going to start off with a chair. I'm sitting in a chair. Um, I will kind of adjust the screen as we change from sitting to standing so that you can hopefully see all of me um, to the best that I can. Um, so have a chair, have plenty of space. As always, you're going to need plenty of room to be able to move big, arms up overhead, arms to the side, feet nice and wide. So uh, go ahead and Get your space ready. Let me see if I can scoot this back a little bit for our sitting portion. Okay. All right, good. So I think this helps us to kind of be able to see um, best um, all parts of me. So we're going to start off as we always do in all our classes with a nice big deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more time. And out. This time I want you to really feel that deep breath down really deep into your belly. So I want you to feel your rib cage fully expand. And then when you blow it out, I want you to feel that rib cage go down and in as you're expelling all the air out of your belly. So let's do that together. In. And out. Very good. So that nice deep breath kind of helps get your lungs used to that expansion and contraction. How you want those lungs to focus and uh, move as you're exercising. You want to be breathing, taking those nice deep breaths in through the exercises. Uh, all the exercises we do, breathing is very important. Never hold your breath during an exercise. All right, so review of posture, how we start. We're on the edge of our chair, shoulders are back and down. So let's just make sure that we're in that good position. We're going to shrug the shoulders up and we're going to press them down. Up and down. So when you bring those shoulders down, you're going to notice possibly a little bit of a stretch in the neck here, which is a good thing. We don't want our shoulders to be up in our ears. That's not good posture. That is using those neck muscles too much. You want those muscles to be relaxed. One more time, up to the shoulders and press them back down. Now that you've got them down, I want you to focus on bringing them back, okay? This is where we work on our shoulder blade squeezes. So we work on those muscles that pull our shoulder blades together. So if you look at me from the side, my shoulder blades squeeze, my elbows are coming back behind my body. And if you see, you probably can't see very well, but I'm really pinching between my shoulder blades there. So squeeze a pencil between your shoulder blades. So we're gonna do two variations of a row today. So we're gonna go down here first. We're gonna do 15 of those. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Big motions, seven, eight, nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, now we're going to bring those arms up. So this one's a little bit higher. It's a higher row. 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Very good. All right, check those arms out a little bit. Double check your seating. Make sure that you're on the edge of your chair. Your legs are nice and wide. 
hands are here on your lap. All right, let's do some gentle neck motions. Let's just turn to the left and to the right. Go to a comfortable spot for you as you loosen up a little bit, maybe go a little bit further. So let's do that. One more time each side, left and right. Very good, all right. Double check your posture. Make sure your chest is lifted and you're still here with me. You haven't sunk to this. You're still here. All right, let's do some reaches. We're gonna put both hands together and we're gonna reach and pull back. Reach and pull back. Good. Two, we're gonna do ten. Three, you reach forward, you pull back to your chest. Four, that's it. Five, six, seven, eight, keep that chest up, nine, and ten. Arms are back down here. We're going to go into some alternating reaches. So we're reaching across, and hopefully you're feeling some weight shift on your chair onto my left cheek, my right cheek as I reach across my body. Give me 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. All right. Rest those shoulders now. Make sure those shoulders haven't creeped up to those ears again. You're sitting shoulders down, shoulders back, head up, chest lifted. All right. So we're gonna go back to those hands clasped. We're gonna do a little bit more trunk mobility. We're gonna do stirring the pot. So your feet should be nice and wide. And as you are stirring your giant pot, your pot shouldn't be real small in front of you. It should be really big. So if you have a folding chair like mine, you're making it squeak a little bit. You're really reaching out to each leg, my right leg, center, my left leg. Let's go the other direction. Out and about, out and around, keep going. So this is warming up your lumbar muscles. Also a little bit of trunk rotation. Three more. One, two, keep breathing, and three. Very good. Okay. In line with the trunk again, we're going to do some overhead reaches. We did some cross body reaches already. Now we're just doing some reaches that are going to kind of get the side here. So no need to lose that posture. Stay up tall. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Awesome. Okay. All right. Take a nice deep breath. In through your nose, out through the mouth. Reset your breath. If it helps you to count out loud with me, do that because that can help you to make sure that you're counting. So nice, uh, tall posture will help you to breathe better as well. If you're slumped down here, you can't take as deep a breath. So sit up tall, expand those lungs with each movement you do. So let's move on to the legs a little bit, okay? So bring them in to a more normal sit, okay? We're gonna do a march, simple as that sounds. Lift right, then left. I don't want tiny steps, I want really big steps. I want you to really lift those knees up like you're trying to bring them up towards your chest because we want big movements. We want strong movements. We don't want small movements. So think big on all your motions. There you go. Flex those hips up. Give me five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Alternate 
alternate those kicks. Front kick. You can see my toes coming up there, which means that my knees are getting straight. If I'm lazy with my kicks, you don't see my toes. I want to see your toes. You want to be kicking. Strong. Sitting up tall. Give me five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Leave that right one up. My knee as straight as possible. Give me a side kick. Keep that knee straight the whole time. You should feel this hip muscle working. My hip is burning a little bit, and it should be, because I did my marches, I did my forward kicks, so those are all exercises that would require me to be using the front of my hip and thigh. Give me five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good, okay. I was feeling a burn there, hopefully you were too. Sit up nice and tall, fix your posture. Other leg up, out and in. We must do the other leg. Keep it big, keep it straight. Very good. 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good, let's relax. All right, so we're gonna do some double leg work where you're gonna get both legs up off your chair. So you're gonna find a sweet spot in your chair. So it isn't all the way back in your chair, ideally. If you need it, that's okay. But you're gonna to wanna to get to a spot where you can get both legs up and you're not pressed back into my chair. My back is just barely touching my chair, but my legs are working. And by lifting both legs, I've just engaged my tummy muscles. And I can make that a little bit more if I think about pulling my belly button towards my spine. So now that we're here with both legs up, you're gonna swim them back and forth. So you're gonna alternate your legs like this. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I know you can't see my feet, but they're going up and down like this. Keep going. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. Legs are working, my belly's working. Okay, very good exercise to be able to hold those legs up and then to do a motion, whether it's going up and down or in and out, or even flexing your feet um, is another good one. But the idea is you're using multiple muscle groups to help stabilize, to lift the legs and your core is where it's gonna stabilize you. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck with that exercise. All right, so let's go ahead and do some step overs, okay? One of my favorites, up and over, right? Pretend or if you've got a little something like a water bottle or a, or a hand, uh, hand weight, put it down there. Make sure that you're stepping over something. We do best when we have a target. So we're gonna do 15 on the right side. Here we go. Up and over. Two, three, lift it high. Four, up first, then over. Six, seven, make a rainbow. Eight, nine, 10, keep going, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Very good. Same thing, other leg, up and over. Lift first, then go out to the side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Awesome. Very good. All right. Bring those feet wide again. We're going to do some combination movements here. So we're going to get some trunk work and arm work and our legs moving all at the same time. So we're going to start with a reach down. I'm going to touch my toe. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to reach. So looks like this. And I want you to follow your hand. So with your eyes. So you're watching it touch your foot. You are watching it up to the ceiling with a big hand, okay? So we're gonna get 10, here we go. Reach, one, reach, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reach. Very good. Okay. Now, same thing other side. So, reaching across, your chest is coming down towards your legs. I really don't want to see this. If you were in my class, I would say, sit up tall, lift that chest, bring your chest. Okay, keep your head up. Try that. Keep your posture big all the way. So here we go. Down, reach, one, two, follow your hand, three, four, watch your hand open up, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay. All right. So we've all sometimes struggled with, I would imagine, reaching that seatbelt, right? You're in the car. You're trying to get the seatbelt, grab it, forcefully take it, and put it into its buckle. So we're going to practice that. So I want you to think about that. So right hand, we're going to reach up, grab, and pull, okay? So I want you to go from here with a fist, pull down. So that's what this exercise, the functional exercise that is designed to help you kind of get enough rotation in order to grab that seat belt. So we're going to do 10 of these. We reach, we grab, we pull, grab, pull, grab, pull, grab, pull. Grab, pull. Grab, pull, good. Grab, pull, grab, pull. Give me two more. Grab, pull, grab, and pull. All right, very good. Now you're in the passenger seat, right? So you're gonna go the other way. You're gonna grab over here and pull, okay? Here we go. Grab, one, two, three, four, five, tasks that make us feel limited. So practicing those tasks can help you to make you feel better about those everyday things that we have to do. So, all right, let's go ahead and move to some standing. All right, so here's what we're going to work on. We're going to work on set to stand because we got to get there and we still have to be able to use big uh, movement concepts and big strength in order to get up real tall. <coughs> Excuse me. So I want you just to work on a strong sit to stand. So I like to do big reach and strong stand. Okay. Let me adjust this a little bit so that when I come to stand, you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. All right. We're going to do 10 sit to stands. Okay. All right. So I'm coming down into my seat. Good, big reach, one. Good, big reach, two. Up nice and tall, and three. And four, and five. Keep going. Six, strong sit to stand. Seven, eight, nine, big strong. not how I want it to be. I want you guys to be able to see my feet a little bit better. Okay. All right. So you're going to take your chair and I want you to put it to your right side. Okay. All right. So you're nice and tall. Your chair is here for balance if you want it. If you don't feel like you need a chair for balance, then do what works for you. But I want you to be safe. That is the first 
um, order of business is to make sure that you're doing the activity, but you're safe doing it. So make sure you've got space, make sure you've got something to hold on to. We're gonna do a simple march. So if you're holding on, it looks like this. If you're not, you've got both legs going. Okay, join me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, to the front. 
front of us because we're going to use it for another some squat work okay so squats I want you to make sure that you are doing your squats correctly and the best way to gauge that is to watch me do them from the side so you're going to squat as if there's a chair behind me and I'm going to sit my squat should not look like this, right? Some people kind of just bring their knees forward and they don't, they bend those knees, but they don't really they put too much pressure on your knees that way. So you squat as if there's a chair behind you. So I'm gonna stay like this. You can certainly face me, um, but this just helps to keep you reminded of what I want. I want 10 good squats. If it hurts for you to go down so far, then don't go that far. You can still get a good quad workout by just being here. So let's do 10 together. Here we go. One, chest is up. Two, keep your head up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We're going to go to a squat, reach, squat, reach, okay? I'll go back this way so you can see an angle that way. So I'm going back into my squat just like I did last time. Squat, I'm reaching up. So I'm squatting and then I'm weight shifting as I reach, okay? So let's do 10, going to the right. Squat, reach, squat, reach, good. Squat. Reach, squat, reach. Keep your head up. Keep your chest up. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. Take a deep breath. In through your nose, out through your back. Very good. Okay, let's do the same thing going this way. So we're in our squat, we're reaching. There we go. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Make sure you're getting the weight shift in there. Nine and ten. Very good. All right, let's do some easy weight shifting. Right to left. Arms swinging. This is when I should have music playing because it's a lot easier to do this one when you have some music going. So I'm also tapping my toes. So as I weight shift, I tap, 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 tap. Bring those arms up a little bit more. We know that weight shifting is very important from right foot to left foot. And I can't tap that toe until I've really taken the weight off my leg. So, get some rhythm, swing side to side. Give me five more, one, two, three, four, and five, and back to the center. Very good. Nice deep breath, and out, and again, and out, one more, and out. Very good. I hope you all have enjoyed this little bit of time we've spent together to kind of loosen up those uh, hips and trunk and knees. Um, all those exercises today we did, nothing special, with just a chair, but we really worked from our head down to our toes and we were able to even get in a little balance there as well. So. Again, thank you for joining me. Um, keep checking this link for exercise classes as I'll be adding them. Typically, uh, as a rule, uh, every week I'll be adding something. So uh, please uh, share with your friends, anyone you know who has Parkinson's and um, these exercises are tailored to those mobility issues that Parkinson's patients have. So be well, keep moving, and we'll hope to see you soon in our regular exercise classes and um, looking forward to that. Everybody take care, thanks.